Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Welcome back. I am super excited to share this project with you. It's a silk scarf that you can decorate yourself. What you are going to need is something to protect your table. This is a plastic tablecloth and a 100% silk scarf, which I do have some in my shop. And you can iron it ahead of time to get out some of the wrinkles, which will change the pattern you get. You will also need bleeding tissue paper in the colors of your choice. And I have a variety pack right here. You also need a spray bottle with one part white vinegar to two parts water. And that's it. You want to select your tissue papers in colors that sort of go together. You don't want to have colors that are so opposite that when they bleed together it turns into this ugly muddy brown color. So I'm choosing some pinks and just like one lavender in there, but mostly pinks. And once you get those, you're going to start shredding, tearing, cutting, whatever you want to do. I am just tearing mine into strips. You lay them across your scarf in whatever pattern you want. Make sure that you are mindful of quick movement as that will make the tissue paper kind of blow up off of your, off of your project. So cover this as as heavily or lightly as you want. You can overlay some of the colors on top of other colors. You can cross them left and right, horizontal over vertical, etc. You can leave white spots. It's totally up to you. There will be bleeding onto the white. When you are all done, that's when you can get out your spray bottle with the vinegar mixture and spray gently at first so that it doesn't disturb your tissue. You can see some of this blowing up here. And then once you get that, just once it's lightly done, now just saturate it. You can see I go back and forth over this for quite a while, making sure that I really get this as saturated and juicy as I want. It should be dripping onto your table. Then you want to make sure that you let that set for 15 minutes before you start pulling them off. I'm putting them onto a piece of watercolor paper to try and get the remainder of ink out of there. You can see right here. And then I am going to just swipe them off with my hands. See, it's a lot easier. That way I know I've got them all off of there and they won't just fall off. When you're done, you want to take your old, old towels and rags and mop up that liquid. If you don't mop it all up, it will still drain a little and get some nice vertical stripes in your project as well. Then you want to hang it up to dry. This dries very quickly. You don't have to hang it outside, but I did that and it was dried in maybe 15 minutes. Look at the vertical stripes there across the horizontal where there was some bleeding. It is gorgeous and I love it. So look at these projects, my one on the left and on the right. They're so fun and what a great gift you could make for someone. Thank you for watching. Look down below under this video for the links. Thank you very much.